Welcome to the Bonsa Tutorials cooking show. Today we're making burgers. I don't normally do a cooking show, but today's is very special. Mm, that's so good. Oh, bloody. Anyway, let's go back to the studio, so I'll show you how I made these. Okay, here we are at the Monster Tutorials kitchen. It's really my wife's kitchen, but today it's the Monster Tutorials kitchen because she's not here. So, if you didn't figure that out outside, that fake beef was just Rice Krispie treats. So, this is how we make them. So, you'll need Rice Krispies or some similar cereal that is like rice that has been puffed. Marshmallows, 10 ounces. They recommend the little ones, but this is all I found. So, and food coloring, mostly red and some yellow. So we're going to follow the recipe for Rice Krispie treats. It's on the back, see? Looks like we need some butter too. Let's get started. Got a giant pot here. Okay. Low heat. And we're going to throw in the butter. It says three tablespoons, in, but this is all I have right here. Looks like might be two right there. Well, that's melting. I got these styrofoam trays. I'm going to set them aside because we're going to put our ground beef here. I don't have a burger mold so I'm going to use this empty coffee can and I'm going to cut a cylinder here that I can use to give shape to the burger patties. Oh, well, let's cut it right there too. There you go, we'll set that aside and then when we're ready we'll just uh, put some butter on the inside so it doesn't stick. Okay, this is melted, the butter, so we're going to throw a whole package. And start stirring until it melts all the way. And the butter is key because it keeps the Rice Krispie treats from sticking to stuff. So we got some red food coloring and I'm going to start adding slowly until it gets that right pink color. And if you want it a little bit more brown and rotten, then we add a little bit of yellow or green. As you can see, it turns into a kind of like a Barbie pink. And add one drop of green. green takes some of the pink away but it's still kind of pink so let's add some yellow so it's starting to get a little bit more of an organic color a nice nasty color so I've measured six cups of Rice Krispie treats here we're just going to dump them in and mix them together Now we're going to spoon the mixture onto this. Taking a little piece of this shrink plastic just to push it into place and make it nice and round like beef is. And it won't stick because you put that butter, remember? This guy is ready for packaging. So I'm going to set it aside while we make the two burgers. Putting a plate and some of that shrink wrap. I'll put that little circle there. And let's throw some of this mixture in there and see what happens. Get more of this wrap and just push it into shape so you can make your burger. All 
right, check it out. We have a nice burger there with a nice bloody spot. That is brilliant. So let's set this aside and then make another burger. So we have plenty here for burgers for the whole family. All right, let's make some blood too. This blood uh, tutorial, or this blood recipe you can eat. I don't recommend eating it by itself because it's just pure sugar, but it'll work awesome, especially with what we're doing today. Normally this blood thing would be a separate tutorial, but I think it goes perfect with our ground beef. So let's get started with that. All right, half a cup of water, a half a cup of uh, powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. We stir this real good. And it'll become like a syrup. This can probably be done with like corn syrup or something as well. Once it's mixed up, we're going to put a big tablespoon of cocoa powder. Now we get about 20 drops of red and about five of green. So stir it well and just adjust with color until you get the color that you want. Okay, let's set all this up and get ready for our raw meat part. Right, I'm going to take a little bit of the blood, just put it there. Let's get our patties. There are some bloody patties there. And for this guy, you can add blood to the tray for more realism, so you can add it around the edges. Get some of this shrink wrap. Put it right on top of our beef. Heat gun. Very gently because this will melt the plastic. better. Now get a label. This one says porterhouse steak. So if you're going to do it, do one that says ground beef. It's the only one I found here. Well, there you have it, raw meat that you can eat. Now imagine bringing that to your next office party. Just open that pound of beef and start going at it. You'll freak everybody out. And if you're not that adventurous, just use it on your next uh, Halloween party. This is going to be a hit.